I'm going to talk about a scripture that was sent to me by a brother. It says, um, I told you before that he does that, that does not work, does not eat. Um, really think that that is speaking about food, huh? We're talking about actions taken for Christ. Plain and simple. But, I mean, it could, of course, mean if you don't work, you don't eat. But we got plenty of beggars in the streets. Paul had plenty of beggars. Paul's job, people think he made tents. You don't, you don't, you don't, you really don't understand what that means, do you? You must not, because you think he made things for people to sleep in in the desert. Now, that may have been. But what he made was the rabbinical cloth. With the knots and probably very ornate borders, um, some of them can be extraordinarily valuable. And um, <clears throat> he did what was commanded by God. Uh, he made the coverings that men wore in their heads, and when they prayed, they covered, they pulled them down and pinched them in front of their faces so that they could be in their closet praying so there's that um, of course without a shadow of a doubt he absolutely positively could have been speaking of food But I think he was talking about spiritual food because the coronavirus killed our jobs. <clears throat> I had some delicious ice cold watermelon for breakfast this morning. It was delicious. And some really fresh coffee. And my dog, she took a walk. She's doing real well. She's trained real well. The hair is driving me crazy, though. I can tell you that. So, if you have issues, take them to Christ. You can write me about them, and you can write me any, you can write me any offensive question that you may have about God, and I will use the scriptures to answer it, okay? I don't have all the answers. But I do know that when there's these several, you know, questions like, why does God allow uh, mentally underdeveloped children? I'm going to, let me kill that right there. Let me kill that right there. Um, they don't know it until we tell them. They're fine with how they are. And then all of a sudden, we step in and say, well, you're retarded. You need to be on whatever. So we do that. That's us. Now, what about the starving children in Africa? You, no, 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 no. Hold on. I know that this country sends... Well, actually, I saw yesterday that worldwide, we throw away a trillion tons of food. A billion tons of food? Look it up on the, on YouTube. It's oh yeah, a billion tons of food at a cost of a trillion dollars to remove it and put. It, and what do you know? How much food that our farmers just buried, and how much milk we just dumped, and how many chickens we just killed, and how many eggs we threw out? Do you know? Just within this these past two months? No, 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 no. God is not starving those people. We are. And then we send food across uh, seas, and you got the, the 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 rebels. They take it, and you can hardly get to where it's supposed to go. No, I'm sorry, Haiti. The food is literally rotting on the docks. The rats are, are outrageous because of their drug laws. Because, well, 
So no, 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 no. We're sending tons of food out and it's just not getting where it's supposed to go because someone else is intercepting it in one way or the other. Um, why does God allow bad things to happen to good people? Look, if it was all good, what what kind of a life would that be? If everything was perfect and you wouldn't develop any character, you wouldn't grow strong. Um... But I don't have all the answers. Nope. I know that we have our personalities that were given to us by God for a reason that is a very in-depth in Jeremiah. Um, I'm the way I am, and that's the way that I'm always going to be. Uh, I can confess something to you this week. I had to give testimony about abuse that I suffered in the church. And uh, it broke me for a moment. It really did. I have been thinking about it for a while because I knew it was coming. And, um, you know, you you literally just keep pushing things to the side, like, like the dog hair I have here. I got to sweep it every day. And um, it gathers up in the sides of the, the, the room. And then the next thing you know, when you do get it, it's a big clump of hair. And then you have to deal with it. And it's everywhere. So what I'm saying is my um, experience right now was that devastating. It was that, you know, I'm still convinced that I pushed out this front tooth because of the hair that there used to be a hair. And I can never forget it. I'll never, I can still feel it in my mouth. Touching the back of my tongue. I can, from the front of my lip, and to the back of my tongue I can still feel it so yes when I was um, I don't, I'm between eight and eight and a half years old I shot myself in the right temple um, there's no need to go into any more of that if you have any questions feel free to answer them ask them uh, suicide attempts I don't know but many overdoses. I've cut myself maybe 500 times easily. Stabbed myself. I've um, hung myself. I literally hung myself. I woke up. I, I woke up and I felt a giant serpent curled around my body. So. I would not recommend killing yourself. Trust me. Um, so I, I, if you see me emotional, it's because of that. I've been trying to deal with this for years. I'm not the only one. My brothers and sisters out there, look, it wasn't God. Jesus didn't do that to you, okay? It was some sick, perverted man or woman. And, uh, they used Almighty God's authority to destroy you. And I can't even apologize for them. But... And I know that no matter what happens, I'm never going to feel better about myself. Um, It made me question my sexuality. I don't know, you know, I mean, I don't, I've never had sex with a man um, voluntarily. Um, But it still made me question, you know, it it did things to me. Um, So... Now today, I have to go to church. I got a pain smile on my face. And um, because I, I have to not forsake the assembly of ourselves. And there's really, where else am I going to go? But there are many people that look at me as mentally ill or conspiracist. or But I know what I am. You can call me whatever you want, but I am a son of the living God. I am heir to the throne of Christ through Jesus. I am heir to the throne. Do you understand that? That means that when we are in the heavenly realm, we will be princes. I personally am tired. I'd really just rather just go to sleep. And, you know, I really wish that my soul would extinguish like a candle flame. 
um, and I would just, you know, would have existed and then not exist. But apparently God has something better in store for us. When we get there, we will see the real glory of Almighty God in the way and form that He really is. And we will desire with all our hearts. It will give us such pleasure to worship Him that we'll want to do it for eternity. I have to count on that. Because right now I just want to go to sleep. I don't want to live another day. Um, I wish that, you know, my body would pass on. My organs would go to people that need them. And uh, I would go to sleep. I, I wouldn't know anything. You know, Solomon wrote that dead know nothing. I so wish that was true. Okay, so I've spent enough of your time looking at my floor. But my job is to preach Christ, and that's what I'm going to do until the last breath leaves my body, and that's all there is to it. So, uh, goodbye.